What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light. Let's go ahead, dig in, open this bad boy up and see if it's going to light its way to your e-ink reading hearts. Alright, so this guy is available for pre-order now and it's going to hit the market on May 7th for $139. Let's take a quick look at the box. So there is the Nook branding, there's a book called The Key of Light on there, Wi-Fi, it's a Wi-Fi only device. Flipping on over to the back, world's number one reader, now with Breakthrough Glow Light. One of the big knocks on e-ink readers of the past was that you had to use an external light source. If you wanted to read in the dark, well, Barnes & Noble's hoping they've got the answer for you. Uh, in the box, we've got a power adapter, an $18 value, and a built-in screen protector. Yay, also have some cables and, uh, and whatnot in here. Uh, it is Android powered, for those of you keeping track at home. Uh, it's a heavily skinned version of Android 2.1. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we're gonna have inside. Not surprisingly, there is the Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light. Looks very similar to the existing uh, previous generation, Nook Simple Touch. We'll pull that out of the box for just one second. Got that nice soft touch rubber feel to the back of it. We've got a quick start guide for, you guessed it, getting started quickly. So there is that. Give that a read at your convenience. Uh, further going into the box, we've got the syncing and charging cord of the micro USB variety, very ubiquitous now. And we've got the Nook charging cable, which goes to USB. And if you don't know what these are for, I don't know what to tell you. Go into the wall. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. This is the Nook Simple Touch. From a dimension standpoint, it's 6.5 inches by 5.0 inches by a pretty slender 0.47 inches uh, and weighs 6.95 ounces. Uh, it's a six inch e-ink touchscreen with glow light. It's got a resolution of 600 by 800. Uh, it's got 16 different levels of grayscale. Uh, being powered by 800 megahertz TI OMAP processor, that's the 3621, 256 megs of RAM, two gigs of internal storage, which will be good for about a thousand books, but you can expand that with micro USB. Uh, no ads pre-installed on this guy. It does have an anti-glare screen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We've got Jules Verne. Uh, go ahead and hold the Nook button to wake up your Nook, or hold for two seconds to turn on the glow light. Let's go ahead and first wake the Nook up, and then we'll take a look at that glow light. Drag to unlock your Nook. I just dragged to unlock my Nook, and of course, this is a touch screen. Uh, so let's take a quick look uh, around the device. So we've got your pagination buttons here, uh, back and forward on the left and right sides. Sides, uh, they're just a little bit raised. Uh, if you can see, they're not um, very defined buttons, but they are easy to feel uh, with your hands. When you see the device in person, you can definitely take a look at it. Um, got the one menu button at the bottom, which is gonna launch all of your nookie, nookie options right there, including glow light and settings. Take a look at all that in a minute. On the bottom, that's where your charging port is. The syncing port is going to live as well. Uh, mostly for charging though, syncing is all pretty much wireless at this juncture. Uh, we've got power button up top for turning that guy off or turning that guy on. Hey, you got Kurt Vonnegut. Go ahead and push that back. Uh, on the right hand side, so you're going to be able to expand your micro SD storage. Uh, no car is going to come pre installed. The back, you've got that N, that Barnes and Noble logo, as I mentioned, with the soft touch feel. Uh, and it feels pretty good in the hand, actually. Uh, very nice, solid feel. Uh, the e ink certainly looks to be very good. Let's go ahead and Go home, take a look at the library, and see how fast pages turn. So we've got the New Yorker is the only thing preloaded on this review device, sent to us by Barnes & Noble. Let's go ahead and hit page. Uh, so page refresh is actually very fast. Uh, probably one of the fastest that I've seen on e-ink readers, and I've certainly done a lot of uh, reading on e-ink displays. You can see how quickly that refreshes forward and refreshes back. Uh, pretty impressive on uh, Barnes & Noble's part there. We'll go ahead and go home. Now let's take a look at this glow light and see how it works. Let me go ahead and uh, dim the lights and we'll get to know each other better. All right, so I have turned down the lights here. Let's go ahead and turn on the glow light. We'll hold the Nook button here for two seconds. And look at that, it is glowing. Uh, it looks very similar to uh, the old digital watches um, of yesteryear when you used to light those guys up. Uh, you've got 
LED lights on the top and bottom and sides uh, that sort of light the screen up, but it's definitely readable. Uh, you can you know, clearly see what the screen says. Uh, it doesn't take away from any of the text. And you're not gonna have that glare or reflection that you get when reading on an LED or LCD display, like a um, you know, tablet or a phone. So it's a pretty uh, simple yet elegant solution for uh, e-ink reading at night and definitely affects or without an effect um, to uh, the eyes or any other sort of nice thing that e-ink provided. Uh, you still get that really quick pagination. You're not gonna have any of the glare uh, or eye strain. Uh, so again, this has been a first look at the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light. Uh, gonna be available on May 7th. We'll have a full review for you on technobuffalo.com. Uh, what do you think? Is this the e-ink reader that you guys have been waiting for or not waiting for? I uh, would love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, again, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for all the latest tech news and, of course, the full review of this guy. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.